Update 2 on Tropical Storm Maria, the latest in a relentless train of Atlantic cyclone activity, and it's sparking more hurricane warnings right now in the Lesser Antilles. At 3pm UTC, September 17th, it has winds of 65 miles an hour and a pressure of 994 millibars, 13.4 north, 56.2 west. A hurricane warning has been issued for Dominica, and hurricane watches and tropical storm warnings are in effect elsewhere. Over the next few days, Maria could become a major hurricane in the eastern Caribbean, unfortunately affecting those islands yet again that have already been affected by Hurricane Irma. This one's expected to be a little bit further south and could really approach Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and possibly the Dominican Republic as a significant hurricane in the next five days. Right now it's 218 miles east of Barbados, 317 miles east of Dominica and 319 miles east southeast of Martinique. It's a stage two on the CDPS scale but that is likely to rise over the next days as it gathers momen momentum. Uh, hurricane warnings are of course in effect as mentioned and on the right hand side you can see the percentage chances of hurricane conditions in several of those locations. 45% in Dominica, 53% in Guadeloupe which may well have a hurricane warning in the near future. Hurricane watches in all of those areas, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Guadeloupe, Sava and St. Eustatia, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy and Anguilla. Tropical storm warning for St. Lucia and a tropical storm watch for Martinique, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And on the right hand side again you can see the percentage chances, significant chances for many of those areas in Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands and all points in between. Again, places that were severely affected by Irma. Over the next few days you'll see Maria become a hurricane and make a run for major hurricane status. It is on the forecast in the next three to five days as it enters that area in the eastern Caribbean just south of those islands towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico by Tuesday. Looking at sea surface temperatures, uh, very warm right now. It's further south than um, Irma and Jose were. Uh, so it will still take advantage of signific significantly elevated sea surface temperatures. Also on the screen you can see Hurricane Jose to the north and Tropical Depression Lee to the east which has just weakened to that status. There's a little bit of high wind shear ahead of Maria which will slow down its intensification hopefully. Um, but it's not looking too good right now in terms of Maria's development and it is going to affect the islands in one way or another. This is what it looks like right now. Not particularly large, thankfully. It's not been a long tracking storm so far. It's only been with us for a day or so. Um, unlike Irma, which was around for a whole week before it affected the island. Um, but it is beginning to get its act together though. Uh, luckily, it hasn't intensified very much in the last six hours. Let's hope that remains the case, but that is a little bit wishful, unfortunately. As you can see, it's approaching those islands, getting uh, fairly near, and more hurricane warnings will be issued in the following hours. Stay tuned, more updates throughout today and beyond. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F00013 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.